Hey everyone, what's going on? Phoenix here. Today I'm bringing you something completely different. I'm gonna bring you a house tour of my mansion. So if you didn't know, Friendly Toad has kind of stepped away from Ashron's call and basically swore underneath me, uh, making me the monarch of his old allegiance, which is, is pretty cool. Uh, shout out to Friendly Toad. And I actually think at the end of the video, I'm gonna uh, include some of the footage from when he swore to me, cause it was, it was pretty cool, so. Yeah, so this is now Phoenix's mansion. I, I took up the same mansion that uh, Friendly Toad had before that, which is the one <laughs> um, in Mayoi, kind of near, uh, I think it's near the Master Mage. I don't, I don't know where the Master Mage, yeah. Yeah, the Master Mage is over here and here's the mansion. So pretty sweet, I have like 1100 followers. So it's, it's, uh, it's been a lot of fun taking over. But yeah, I wanted to do a mansion tour. I've wanted to do a house tour for a little while, but I figured doing a mansion tour is a little bit cooler than doing a villa tour. So we're gonna get right into it. The mansion is huge. I've got some pretty cool lightning storms going on on the top of the mansion. Got some buffs on the outside, my fertilized fly trap. We've got the wall bound Nifus. We've got the chalkboard where people can write messages. Uh, font of Joji is out here. And then what I did basically is around the sides, I have a couple of portal devices that are lesser used. And on the back, I have two more portal devices that aren't used quite that much. Got a demo statue out here. And then we'll head inside. In the entryway, we have a couple of more buffs with a fertilized monster plant, Black Spear of Mukir Strength. Um, and then if you go to the right, this is where I kind of put some more uh, buffs. I've got my head of the Paradox Touched All Phoebe Queen, some cool uh, pictures, which are also the same pictures that are in Town Network. And then this room has the rest of the buffs. So it's like head of the homunculus, dark monolith, Verindy cage. And then we will head upstairs one floor. This is a kind of a cool room where you can see down below and there's a bunch of weapons on the wall hooks. Some of this stuff is left over from Friendly Toad, which is cool. And some of it is mine that I brought from my mansion or got specifically after taking over. On the balcony, because it's easy to jump from down below up onto the balcony, this is where all the portal devices are that are mostly used or more used than the ones that I put around the back. You know, BSD, Dangerous Portal Device, Dyerlands, Althoi Lands, and then the two uh, temple portals, which are, are very useful. I actually am probably gonna get lost doing this tour, but we'll, uh, we'll go for it anyway. <laughs> So this is the now the left side of the mansion. We got another kind of hangout room with my evil couch, an ornate fountain, pretty cool uh, snowy cabin snow globe. You can kind of see the little house in there. Oh, my dog doesn't like it. Everyone asking me to put my dog in the videos more. There you go. Uh, a plaque on the wall, some more cool pictures. We'll, uh, we'll head in. Got my Morglux trophy head, decorative Ursuin head, and this. This is so sad. This is Friendly Toad's Invigorating Elixir, so it's a rare stamina potion, but it's one use. It's like, what is this good for? But it's good as a wall decoration to say you have it. So, a little disappointed in the mansion. There's not a lot of floor hooks for whatever reason. There are no floor hooks in this entire room. So, you can't really decorate it that much, but... We'll head upstairs. Same thing again, there's no floor hooks in here. I've got a second Paradox Touch head, probably one of those is Friendly Toads. Snowflake on the wall. And then up here, head of the Althoic Queen. This hook is owned by Phoenix, okay. It doesn't, I thought it was gonna say that I did it. And then just some cool stuff on the ground like this ice box, floating Althoic Resurgent book, flying bats. We'll head back down. Try to find another area to go look at. We'll go up these steps, maybe. This is like an attic space. I guess I don't have anything in there. I have no idea. I'm already lost. Uh, we already went in there. I guess we'll go this way. What do we got? Two doors. And this takes you up to like the spire, I believe.
yeah so it's you can get some cool views from out of here you can see the roof where i've got the uh lightning cloud i've got a snowmaker and i've got a couple of rinthid weapons up on the wall i gotta get a couple more and, and finish that out so let's head all the way back down and we'll go into the basement Oh, we got some more stuff. Orb of Elemental Frost. <laughs> the Eye of Dragirg. Honestly, I don't even remember all this stuff. When I got the mansion, finally, I just was like throwing things in a lot of different places because uh, there was so much. Second Verini Cage. All right, this is the down. Kind of looks like grass for whatever reason. And then you go down all these flights of steps. This is the frustrating thing about owning a mansion is that it's not convenient to get to your chests. But anyway, you go through the dungeon, down the ramp, and into your house portal. You have to use the house portal, you can't just walk through it. And then you go in and you just go to the right, and this is my Christmas tree, my large pine tree. And you've got five chests. I've got my armored undead guy hanging out. Bunch of useful stuff in the chest for anybody in the Allegiance, you know, some extra plants. I think one of these has level eight spell components, just kind of some random stuff um, and beers. Be beers on the house in the uh, Phoenix Allegiance. <laughs> and all this stuff to make more. Here's the level eight components. So some of this stuff is held over from Toad. Uh, yeah, a bunch of level eight components, which is super helpful for people. And then uh, there's just like kind of this like open room with some random stuff, but not too much. These, I don't I feel like they kind of wasted. I don't know if they planned on maybe like giving you more storage at some point and then they just never followed through. But like this is a cool space, but it's just kind of there's no real use for it. jump up onto the roofs get up into this lightning storm pretty cool uh, like one of the coolest housing items in my opinion i need to get one more because there's a roof hook on this roof too and then the snowmaker pretty cool shoot snow up into the air and then it like falls down so it's both a lightning storm and snowing at, at my mansion. Pretty good view of the Maui Beach, too. So, Yeah, that's my mansion. I think housing in Asheron's Call is actually, like, super cool that it's, you know, it's not, like, instance. It just exists. It's uh, on the landscape. Anybody could run into my house. You know, there's no barrier up. I've got that turned off. Anybody can access it. So, pretty cool. First time I've ever had a mansion, too. I never had a mansion in retail. Um, it was a lot harder in, in retail to have a mansion because you had to be rank 6. On Levishers, you only have to be rank 4. I think I am rank 6 anyway, yeah. But still. So That's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I think after this, I'm going to show you just the quick footage of uh, the swearing process uh, for anybody who's interested. So I hope you liked the video. If you did, please press that like button. Thanks. Bye.